Hey guys, it's Carrie. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. And I am about to open up another one of the new Shibajuku anime uh, series one dolls. This is Kiki. It also has the collector's edition stamp up there. So these were meant to be collected. I don't even know if the other ones had that or not, but here, there's her artwork on the front there. Her box is done in yellow and black and white. And uh, it looks like her, she has angel wings for her hair, her headpiece. I don't know if it's going to end up being a another headband uh, like Kira's was, but um, now that I think, look back at it, I think she's supposed to have, I think they're supposed to be mouse ears. I was thinking cow because of the bells. I got distracted, but maybe they're mice. I don't know. <laughs> um, okay. But our girl Kiki here, it says that Kiki is a tech genius. She's always in the know of the latest innovative trends and is perfect, is the perfect combo of smart and cool. Uh, Kiki is wise beyond her years and strives to know how everything works. If she's not pulling apart items and putting them back together better than before, she's inventing her own cool gadgets. She is a problem solver and will always deliver the best solutions in style. So there she is. And without further ado, let's get her opened up and take a closer look at our girl Kiki. I don't even have to pause. I can just move this down a little bit. Working with my new tripod here. <laughs> and let's see. Grab ourselves some uh, scissors. They are very easy to come out, guys. All I do is take this, take the tape off from the bottom here. Um, and again, uh, these are uh, $19.99. I found them at Walmart. Um, not my local Walmart. So I'm assuming Walmarts are going to be getting them if they haven't already. When the um, Mine already did reset and it still didn't have it, them. So I don't know if it's select Walmarts or what's going on with them. But look, take a closer look at your Walmart. And you may just find them. I found them over by the Rainbow High section. At the very bottom shelf in the corner. So. They're being tucked away. Which is sad. But these are definitely treasures. These dolls are awesome. Alright. So. Let's see. Get the other arm out here. I'm trying my hardest not to cut anything I'm not supposed to cut. There we go. And it seems that her box is similar to the other girl's box, except for hers is in yellow, black, and white instead of turquoise. Okay. Let's see here. Let's get this and not cut her hair. Please don't cut the hair. No cutting of the hair. Back over on this side again. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, her hand's been held up by something. That's different. I guess that's just how they had it wanted to have her posed in the box. Okay, um, and then I think there might be one on her neck. Yep. There we go. And that's it. I love that they don't have little head bobby things holding them in. So this girl has black hair, which is my hair color and my preference. Let's get this down here focused a little bit here. Do, 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 do. Bringing this down. And then I think we're, I think we're at a good level now. Okay. So here's our girl. So Kiki has the black hair and the bangs. And I love that they both have bangs. Bangs are my jam. I like bangs on my dolls a lot. Um, and she has, this girl has parted ponytails, and these are supposed to be ponytails. Because you can see that there's a center part. The other girl didn't have that. Um, her hair feels a little bit more, um, a little more, a little more coarse. That's the word I'm looking for, coarse. And maybe they do, maybe they're doing hair textures, which is going to be interesting. Uh, it looks like these are hair clips. Oh, they're soft. It's like a, 
um, I want to say it's like a, um, some sort of microfiber. It's very soft. And those are white, white wings on the head, her head there. Um, I like the spang style a lot too. I like how there's a little bit of length down the hair. Um, of course, they have, um, thin eyebrows, um, same as the others, or same as the other girl. And then you can see where the lid starts here, and the lid starts here. And then the, the eyelashes on the bottom here. It's done in black print or black paint. And then we have a lot of mascara going on. And we have the fake lashes, the nice lush face lashes that are soft on the top up here. And then her eyes also match her outfit, just like the other ones did. So she's got like a yellowy, yellowy colored eye. Her outfit is cute. I don't like that they printed this on. I wish this was actually a real tie or something, but I guess budget met and that's just what it was because like I said, $20. Um, so there's a different type of fabric here that's black and uh, yellow uh, that lifts that so that gives it some dimension. This is, like I said, unfortunately, this plaid tie is actually printed on this silky fabric, which is also attached to this. This is the same type of fabric, I think, as the, um, whatever this collar is made of. It's a little stiff, but it works. It's not, like, it's not paper stiff. I think it's, like, a ribbony type stiff, but regardless, we have two layers here of this plaid, and then underneath we have a black tool hanging out the bottom, which is a really cool effect. It does puff the skirt out a little bit, which I like. Uh, she's wearing some black knee highs and some black Mary Jane shoes. Very simple. Um, and then she also has these uh, sleeves, armbands, sleeves, I don't know, that are black with yellow stripes on the top and two on the bottom. Um, she does have the same type of articulation as her other girl, but we'll go over it again. Uh, her head goes back and forth. We have articulation of the shoulders, so there are shoulders can go out and over and around, so there's a ball joint there. And then uh, we have articulation on the elbows, you can bend them back and forth and all around. And then articulation at the wrist, there's a wrist joint, so you can kind of make her wave. Um, you can make her touch her mouth, that's how good, that, that's how good the articulation is there. Um, I love the, the sculpting on the necks. So if I can get that in a little bit closer, you can see right there her throat. Um, let's see. She has articulation at the hips, so you can make her sit, you can make her stand. You can make them do the splits ever so slightly. Uh, no, actually more than ever so slightly. They can do the splits fully. And then um, they have articulation in the knee, which it doesn't mean all the way up. It's not double jointed, but it's jointed enough. And then it does also have a swivel, so that's that's important. It's very important, so that when you set her down, you can swivel her legs together like this, so she's not sitting unladylike. So that is Kiki <laughs> from the Shibajuku new line uh, called Anime in Series One. So I'm excited. There's five in this collection. Um, I'm only able to get my hands on two, and it is Series One, so I'm guessing that they're plotting at least at this point. Uh, to have a second release. So this is very exciting. It's, it's exciting to have a, a great quality doll at a good price um, coming at the mass markets. What do you guys think? Have you guys picked any of these up yet? Do you plan on picking them up? I, If you're on the fence about it and you need an opinion, I would say go ahead and get go for it. They're 13 inches. Um, I'm guessing they, they will probably fit in Barbie clothes, but I don't know. I don't know. Um, it feels like blasphemy to me. <laughs> I don't want to mix brands. I could, I could, I could. Um, but this is all, um, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.